will say that, uh, you know, throughout this, uh, throughout this pandemic situation, if I can get a little serious for just a moment here, I have been trying to find God. Uh, not for any sort of religious reason, or it's not like I've gotten uh, crazy or anything. It's, it's because, uh, I, you know, I've had a lot of time uh, to think uh, and feel my emotions, and I've spent an entire career uh, encouraging other people to, you know, think and feel their emotions as well. And during the time of the quarantine, what I'm realizing is that, uh, boy, I got a lot of them. Uh, there's just a lot of thoughts and emotions. And uh, I would really like to find religion uh, so that I could just bury all of them. Just <laughs> find a way to just fucking get rid of all of it. <laughs> But, you know, religion, religion is something that people are, are, are turning to uh, during the time of this great quarantine. You know, a lot of, uh, we, we saw over Easter, a lot of people uh, went to church. Uh, and before we all get judgy, I think the one thing that all of us agnostics and atheists and non-theists and free thinkers don't realize is that churches are not just exempt to taxes, uh, but also viruses. <laughs> and intelligence and intelligence they're also <laughs> the blood of Jesus. i mean quarantining is is kind of uh, you know uh, we've seen it all throughout religion even jesus quarantined himself for like three days from all of humanity you know and then he came out of that <sighs> cave and then he he fucked off real quick you guys <laughs> <laughs> He came out of that cave and he was just like, man, this plague of ignorance is just all over the place. It is sticking around for a while and I got to get out of here before I catch it, okay? I got a very elderly dad at home to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I do think, you know, uh, that, that we are going to get through this. I think we're going to get, uh, we're going to get out of this quarantine. And what I'm hoping for is once we come out of this thing, we create a better society without a parasitic eco economic system where we're all more focused on community, small businesses. Uh, and we all don't forget about wearing pants again, which <laughs> is a major concern. <laughs> Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this clip. If you enjoyed this clip, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button, you hit the like button, make sure that you share this content out. Usually content like this, this anti-establishment comedy content is not uh, shown to as many people uh, as it possibly could be. It does get suppressed quite often. So uh, if you can hit that share button, get the word out there. Uh, and tell folks that you enjoyed this video. And if you want to be a part of a live virtual comedy show, the next live virtual comedy show, the next Citizen Revolution comedy show is going to be on May 22nd. Uh, tickets are available for that right now, and then they'll be, um, they'll be happening every Friday uh, at 9 p.m. So tickets are available for these shows at krishmohan.com. That's K-R-I-S-H. M O H A N dot com. And you got to get your tickets uh, because that's how I'm going to be able to send you the Zoom login information so you can attend the show and we don't get any unwanted visitors in the Zoom show. So, like I said, the next one is on May 22nd. Grab your tickets and we'll see you there. Thanks again and we'll see you soon.